Hey friends, it's Deanna here today, and I am super excited today to be coming to y'all to sew the hoodie dog sweater. Um, this little hoodie, it is so cute. I love dogs. I have loved seeing all your makes of this one, and I have been dying to make it, so I'm so excited to be making it today because I just love it. And I have a little one. Uh, we just actually got our little puppy not that long ago, and this was like perfect timing for this little sweater to come out because it also is a little bit chilly outside, so this is nice for um him to get all bundled up and cute you know and so i'm really excited to be making it together um so before i get started let me remind you of our fun fun giveaway a 50 dollars alien maggot certificate and all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't which you know why haven't you already and then comment below and let me know um Anything you want to let me know, just comment below and that will enter you for our giveaway. And we give $50 Elia Maggie certificate every single month. So you can, um, you have a good chance to win. So anyway, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Once again, I'm using the hoodie dog um, sweater pattern and um, well, my pieces are all cut out, all ready to go. And I'm doing a festive theme. It's like Christmas lights. All right, let's get started. So I've got my little placket right here and I'm making the smallest size. So I am like, cause I have big fingers and big nails and I'm like gonna be like doing these little tiny little things. So, you know, we'll, we'll get it together. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so I got my placket and I'm gonna fold it um, right sides together to give it a uh, memory crease right here on the back. Now I'm going to grab my back piece. This is my back uh, uh, bodice piece. I'm going to fit my um, placket right here. I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put it right on that line, on that crease I just made. So the crease is like butting up to my center piece. Let me see if I can move this higher so you can kind of see it better. That will probably help. Okay, so my crease is butting up to my center piece right here. You can kind of see it right there. Okay, I'm going to grab my pattern piece and I'm going to mark where here, see where the little arrow where the pocket, pocket place, placement is. I'm going to make a line all the way down to that pocket placement line where it's telling me it's supposed to be. And I don't have fabric marker or pencil or pen, so I'm just using a pencil. Right there is the line. So I just drew that line right there. So I have to remind me where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to go ahead and <coughs> grab my placket. And I'm going to finish the edges, the sides, and the bottom. So I'm just going to use my serger. You can use a serger or a, a stretch stitch all the way around. Just finishing those raw edges. All right, so my raw edges are finished. I, I'm just uh, cutting off the little ends. All right. Okay, so see how it's finished? The raw edges are finished. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bodice, my back bodice. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna give it a crease up here so I see where the memory crease is right here. And I am gonna open it up so I can still see it. And see that line right there? I'm going to place that middle line of my uh, placket, the crease, right with that same crease, right sides together on top of each other. And I am going to pin right there. And now I am going to sew around the line. Okay, you see how we make that line right there? I'm going to go down on the side of the line 
over and up. So I'm just creating like a, I'm encasing that line basically with my sewing machine. So I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you how I did it. So now I'm going to show you that. Do you see my line? There is my line in the middle and I went around it with my um, stitch all the way around, down, over, up. So that way I created that little like rounded space around it. Um, you could do it a little bit wider. I kind of went a little bit skinny wise but you can make it a little bit wider around the edge now we're going to go ahead and cut that line in the middle that line that we have that middle line that we had created earlier and cut it all the way down to the end but don't cut the thread just go all the way up to the thread see right there i didn't cut the thread i just went all the way down okay so now I'm going to go ahead and fold the placket into the other side of my bodice, to the wrong side of my bodice. Just folding it right over. See that? And I'm going to steam. I just folded it right over and steamed it. Not too hard, huh? So far, so good. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna put it like right next to each other at the top, making sure it's good and steamed. And I'm going to like overlap them together, barely just right there at the top, just so I can pin it. And when you attach the hood, that's going to be attached, that's gonna be attached at the hood. So it's gonna be like, I'm just overlapping it enough so I catch it when, when I overlap the hood. The hood. If you want to, because um, just with a pin, it might want to move when you're gonna over, when you're gonna attach it. So if you want to go ahead and 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 uh, if you want to, you can actually baste them together right there, just a little bit at the top. Um, if you want to go ahead and do like a basting stitch right there at the top, that will be just fine. All right. So now that I go, I went ahead and finished. Um, I, I can actually before I do that. Sorry, I didn't finish. I can go ahead and top stitch around the whole outside. So like around the whole edge, just go ahead and top stitch all the way around. Um, I'm gonna do that with my uh, cover stitch. So I'm gonna top stitch all the way in around the placket, and then um, we'll move on to basting. So we'll probably it's probably better to go ahead and, and do this part first. Okay, it is basted on. Okay, so I have got uh, what do you call it? Top stitched all the way around. And then now you can go ahead and base together if you like, right there at that spot. I'm just gonna pin it for now. And we're gonna work on our pocket. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my pocket. Is this how you little pocket I've ever see? What am I gonna stick in that pocket for Pete's sakes? Maybe a, a poopy bag or something like that. A little tree, just um, if he's been a really good boy or what, whatever. Um, it is so cute. Look at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you can use some um, some of that like uh, uh, fabric tape um, that you can glue it on to to help you glue it on if you want to do that. It might be, make it easier. Um, but if not, then you can just go ahead and do it without it. I am not using it. I'm folding half an inch first at the pockets, so the the sides on the pockets, 
this is where like the opening is gonna be right here in this pocket um and that actually is i don't think it's quite half an inch no uh, let's see no it's not quite half an inch let's do a half an inch just because it's so small i, I want to make sure that i do it big enough the pocket uh for when i'm hemming so now i'm gonna go ahead and top stitch that so those are like my pocket entrances i'm gonna top stitch those If I brought my needles up, I'm not even going to cut it yet. I'm going to go to the next side. It's not the greatest. Uh, uh, top stitch etiquette, but that's what we're doing. And I'm going to show you. It's a mess. Mom. Maybe I should have done it white or yellow, but I went with the black. Once I put it on, I think you'll be fine. Okay, so now the pocket sides are done. And as you can see, I didn't go all the way to the top, you know, and, and, and you'd be like, oh my goodness, you know, it doesn't matter because we're going to fold those in now. So we're going to go ahead and fold the bottom up half an inch. We're gonna fold the top down half an inch, see? So there I get I tuck in those tails. So we fold at the bottom and the top half an inch, and then we fold these little sides right here that are kind of randomly sitting there. And this is why it's good to use the tape if you wanted to, because then the tape will help it stay down. It, it won't let them, you know, try to stick up like these are. Just gonna sit here and steam for a little while, try to tame them. See all that steam? And so here they are, fold it down like my little pocket. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bag. Here he is. Again, I'm going to fold it on the middle, but I already have that crease on the middle, so I already know where it's at. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Um, we're gonna grab our little pocket and fold it down the middle just so I can find that middle crease so I know exactly where it's going. So you wanna um, place it on evenly. If you don't want it even, then you don't have to do that. You can just place it wherever you want. <laughs> and so, and we're going uh, 2.5 inches from the bottom. One inch, two inch, 0.5 from the bottom. And that's where we're going to place this little thing. Okay. And then I am going to pin it following that little, that middle crease that we made to let us know where it's supposed to be at, right? Pocket, pocket. How cute is this pocket? Okay. And now we're going to sew around all the edges that we did not already sew on. <gasps> so, because you see, that's where my hands are going to go. My one finger is going to go to put things in the pocket. Um, but we're going to sew the top, the bottom sides, and the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and top stitch all that cute goodness. pocket in the world is on don't tell me the doggy hoodie does not need a pocket what especially this little tiny baby size like what of course he needs a pocket because it's so cute all right so my pocket is on oh, ah. oh. what can I fit in there a little treat, a little um, poopy bag, 
so cute okay all right so that's done and that is the cutest little thing i've ever seen and we'll move on to our sleeves so i'm going to go grab my sleeve and i'm going to put it right sides together onto my bodice my top bodice <laughs> back bodice because this is my back yeah and this is my belly so my belly bodice <laughs> and then i'm going to do the same on the other side just because i'm going to want to do two in one okay how cute is this <gasps> okay so the sides and we're going to go ahead and sew those on together right sides together one side and then the other side okay now my um little sleeves are on <laughs> i'm gonna grab my bodice my belly bodice and this is my top where my neck is up here i'm going to grab my other bodice my back bodice and i'm going to line those sides up where my sleeves are so this is like the outside part of the sleeve. This is the bodice. This is up here is the top where the keyhole is. Right now it's the little placket. So I'm gonna put it right on top, right sides together. I have, it is really weird. I've never sewn for doggies. So I'm like, looking at the steps and trying to make sure that I'm sewing it on the right end, on the right side. I don't wanna sew it upside down. Now I'm gonna sew the, I'm gonna put the other one right on top on the other side as well. You can do one at a time if you want and sew it and then the other one, but I like to just go ahead and prep them both at the same time. That way it's like done. So then when I go to the machine, I can just sew both sides, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those on. Here, I'll show you. You see? This is my middle piece right here. I'm gonna sew them on. Do I sound cool, you all? I've been sick and so now my, like, my voice is different and I feel like I sound so good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm insane. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Other side. <laughs> Honestly, I guess I just feel like I survived. I survived the flu. I'm so excited. It was horrible, but I survived. Okay, so here's my little doggy um sweater and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our cuffs on first so that way um it will be easier when we attach it instead of making our cuffs on the round um we're gonna put them on first because if we attach them first then it's gonna be like oh this is gonna be hard to sew together on the round and we don't want to complicate things because it's such a small cute little pattern so I'm folding my cuffs wrong sides together, wrong sides together. And I am going to find my middle of my cuff, the raw edge. So I just marked it, folding it together and marking the raw edge, the middle. And I'm gonna grab my little arm area. See right here, if you look, here's my belly that I just attached. Here's my back, it looks like a little cape. And so my sleeve, my arm is gonna go right here where it goes like an arm size shape. So obviously on both sides. And I'm gonna find the middle of it as well. Obviously in a doggy, the back is going to be longer than the belly. Um, so that's why we're finding that middle piece. You don't have to find the middle piece, I guess, if you don't want, but hey. Let's do it correctly. Let's do a really good job for little pups. 
My little puppy's name is Bo. Tell me about your little puppy. My little puppy is a lab and he is a black lab and he is the cutest little thing. He is the sweet. Um, we've been wanting to get, so now I met that little middle piece and now I'm going to stretch him out to one side and pin. So it's a little bit stretchy. There's a little, quite a, quite a bit of a stretch. Um, anyway, we've been thinking about getting a doggy for a while and my son has been asking for a dog forever. Um, when he was a little baby, we had a dog. Um, he was our baby before our other baby, before our human baby. And, um, he passed away and it was very traumatic for us and, um, we weren't ready for another one quite yet. Um, but like I said, my son had been asking for one and finally we figured out that it was time for us to get him a puppy, um, a, a, a brother as he says. So, um, it was the cutest little thing. We brought him home and he was so excited. And then, um, he said, he kept saying to me, my son kept saying, oh, I, I just keep thinking this is a dream. I just keep thinking I'm gonna wake up and I'm not gonna have him anymore. And it just, it was so, it's so sweet. Um, And he said to me the other day too, he goes, mom, can you believe it? Like in one day, I now have a brother. And it was so sweet. It was like the sweetest thing. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. I love it. Anyway, uh, I am not sick, I promise. It's just my throat. And so now like everything's all like, it's like this when I'm talking. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, maybe by next video, it will be a little bit better. Okay, so um, again, and this is my other side. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going to pull it and stretch to the edge and pin at the edge and then kind of make a pin right here in the middle. You know, if you've been watching my videos, you know I don't pin a whole lot. I'm not a pinner. I just go for it. But um, if you are a pinner and you like to pin, which is just fine, you can put as many pins as you want on there. I just never see the reason why I need so many pins. It's I'm like, I just need a pin at the end to hold it together and one in the middle to kind of tell me that I'm doing fine and then that's it. <laughs> Uh, I've never been one to take precaution though. I am very like by the seat of my pants. Just do it. Probably not the best thing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and now that it's together, you see that at the raw edge, I'm going to go ahead and sew it together. Both, both, both uh, cuffs. Both, both, both cuffs. Stretching lightly as I go um, so that they're even and the raw edges are even. And then obviously pulling the pins so you don't run over them and they go flying in your eyeball because that would not be fun. No, no sir, no fun. All right. So now that they're on, I am just seeing them. You can top stitch if you'd like. I'm not gonna top stitch. Okay. And now we're gonna fold it right sides together and we're gonna sew those side seams so we're going from the right here on the sides where the um cuffs are <coughs> down the side make sure you match those seams and down to the end of your little um top same on the other side are you excited i am excited and our next step is so cute if you really couldn't get any cuter already and we're gonna go ahead and add on a hood oh goodness what am i thinking what are we thinking um yes that we love our pups and we want them to be nice and cozy <laughs> nice and cozy all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and sew those sides on. Okay, you see they don't go all the way down. They just go down to uh, the part of the side because then this part goes around. That's the part that we're just gonna go ahead and hem up. 
because obviously the back goes longer than the front. We want their um, their business to be able to still uh, be out and open for doing their business. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. And I think you do. So one side and then my other side. Now, if you want to, if you're doing, um, okay, so now that we're done here, we just have this tail right here because we did cuffs first and you will just tuck in that tail and how I like to tuck it in is I just put it right over that seam and I go right over that seam with a zigzag stitch right there, right on top of it, ziggy zaggy right there. And um, that's how I tuck in those tails. So I'll show you, I have black on right now. I don't wanna do it right now, but that's all you have to do right now for that. So we're gonna go ahead and do our hood. But I'm gonna show you what it's looking like. How cute is this going to be? How cute, tell me. Super, super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our hood and we're gonna put it right sides together. One side, other side, right on top of each other. And we're going to sew around the crown, this area down here, back in the back. So our crown all the way around. And then that it's sewn on, we're gonna go all the way around and um, hem our hood, our face of our hood, our face area. So like this face area, because the bottom is going to be attached, but the whole face area is going to be hemmed. So it's a half an inch all the way around. I'm not sure I understand. Did you hear that? Dumb Siri. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and hem all the way around that face of the, of the, of the hood. Scissors. All right, my hood has been hemmed. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we can go ahead and quarter it. So this is my half right here, my other half. Then we can go ahead and um, grab, go in to one side, go in and mark my quarter. And then the other side, go in and mark my other quarter. And let me make sure we are overlapping half an inch, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and do it before you're gonna put it on. Just go ahead and overlap that half an inch. So that's half an inch on top of each other, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, and baste together right there at that half an inch. Basting stitch is just a long straight stitch. And sometimes it's easier to just go ahead and do that first, baste it together to me when I'm attaching a hoodie, then later, because then it won't move when I'm gonna attach it so it stays together right there. And now I have that quarter. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to quarter that as well. And the back back where we made the placket, the, the middle of the placket, that's my back. So we're gonna go to the front. That's gonna be my front. Then I'm gonna meet the placket middle with the front and I'm gonna go to one side 
and then I'm gonna meet the front again and I'm gonna go to the other side. And the placket, the middle of my hood is gonna go where that placket is. So I'm gonna turn it inside out because I think it works better that way. I'm going to fit, do you see where the back seam of that hood is right here? We're gonna fit that hood right inside and that back seam is going to be right here at that at that where that placket is. Right sides together. So where that placket is, that's that's right here where our back seam is and we're going to pin it together. And I'm going to pin it lower because I the other day I was putting on a hood and I didn't pin it lower enough and I almost broke my serger. And we're going to match up all those quarter points that we created. <laughs> And it's right sides together, the hood on the top, and the raw edges. Right here where we overlapped, it's gonna go right in that, in that middle, that front uh, quarter point that we marked. And then the other one. And I'm going to show you. You see? Raw edges to raw edges, right here in the back. See how it split open? This is why I said that if you wanted to go ahead and baste it together, that might be best right here with the placket area. So I'm gonna just overlap it a, a tiny bit and just baste it together. Because I don't want it to open up. It's not really even basted together, it's just they're right next to each other. And that might not really even do much of a help but it's just, they're just right next to each other. They're, they're sewn in a way that they're just staying right next to each other, if that makes any sense. So it doesn't open up. And I'm gonna start right there in that area just so it doesn't open up again. And maybe I'll put one pin going one way and the other pin going the other way to keep it like tight right there. All right, and we're almost done. So we're gonna go ahead and sew that together around the neckline and I am surging it on around that raw edge. <laughs> Moving these pins. And make sure you move everything else out of the way as well. You don't want to catch anything else underneath it. And we're going all the way around. Okay, so it's sewn all the way around. Now I'm gonna turn it right side out. And there it is. As you can see on, taking that basting stitch off. Okay, so on the front, it's overlapped right there. On the back, here is the little placket space for the color to come out through. And we are basically done. If you are not doing, um, if you're not doing a waistband, then you are done. <laughs> but if you're doing a waistband, we're gonna go ahead and move on with that. So here's my waistband. I'm going to fold it right sides together, just like we did the uh, cuff and steam. But then this time we're gonna go ahead and sew those short raw edges together. The short raw edges together, right sides together. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it on that raw, on that line, memory hem line that we made already. And you know what, I should have been smarter if I would have been smarter at cutting this, I would have cut the lights a little bit high, lower or higher. So that way they would look like a string of light. But right now it's like only half the string of lights. So then I'm gonna go ahead and mark my quarters. So I'm gonna start right here at this seam. And I'm gonna go to the front. Again, if you just wanna hem, you can just hem. If you think that that will be more comfortable for your pup, if they don't like a waistband. And then I'm gonna match the front and the back and go to the sides. 
to match my quarters. One quarter, another quarter, and then we're gonna do the same for the um, little bodice. To the back, to the front, and then the sides. Just basically those sides. Come on. Okay. One. And then the other. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and match up. And I want that seam to be at the bottom. So I'm going to put that seam down here at the bottom. And I'm matching the right sides together all the way around. Right sides together and then those seams, those quarter points, I'm sorry. Are you as excited as I am to try this on your pup? I am. He's probably going to hate it. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and sew that all the way around. Making sure you pull everything else out of the way because this is your last step. You don't wanna get here to this last step and then all of a sudden eat piece of it and then no, start crying. So I'm moving everything else out of the way and making sure the raw edges are matching. I probably should have changed my thread to black thread instead of having this white thread on here. Oh well. We're almost done. I am 100% sure I am more excited about this than my doggy will ever be. 100% sure. All right. Be sure I cut every single piece. Fold it down. And then if you want to turn it inside out, you can turn it inside out and steam. But I'm just kind of fitting my iron in there and steaming. Oh, I can't wait to try it on. And we are done, done, done. Like I said, you're going to tuck in these tails right here at the at the sleeves. With You can tuck them in um, however you want to do that. You can do it with a needle or you can do the zigzag method I do. Um, this is up to you. But we are done. It already looks like a little puppy. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you love making these little hoodies for your little loved one. Uh, please show us your pictures. Come show us on Facebook or Instagram if you're not already part of those pages with us. Um, we'd love to see it. Um, and um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Come in, like, share, um, and just go check out a lot of other videos. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.